All right, I am starting to revisit my um, solderless uh, um, battery box. But first I need to do some more testing on these springs. This is the old kind of spring that I used in my first battery box and it worked great. But although I never truly tested it, I knew that this thing was only good for four or five amps. Um, I showed that if you uh, accidentally reverse polarity, the spring burnt out and disconnected the cell, which is an awesome safety feature. Um, but, um, you know, how many amps can it truly take just in everyday use? So, uh, we're going to do some testing. I have my ISDT T8 set up here. It's in 4.15 volt mode, 2 amps. And I've soldered a couple leads across the spring. So we can uh, test it and see, uh, you know, does the spring get hot. Um, I started doing this testing earlier and I put, the, um, I put these clamps directly on the spring. And actually it was the clamps, I realized the clamps were getting hot, not the spring. And the reason is the teeth of the clamps were making only minor contact with the spring causing hot spots. So I've sold on a couple leads and hopefully that'll eliminate that and, and we have good contact on both sides of the spring, a good blob of solder on both sides of the spring. And uh, we'll see how much current we can pass through the spring before it truly gets hot. So let's start with two amps and see if we get any heat in the spring. All right, the ISDT is, um, there we go, we're at two amps. And uh, we will see, uh, it's about 80, 83 degrees right now. And it's, I can tell you it's cool to the touch. No problems at two amps. All right, two amps is not a problem. Let's uh, up the amperage. Let's go to, Go to three amps. Okay, uh, three amps. Uh, we're pushing three amps. See if there's any heat in the spring. There is a little bit of heat in the spring. I think three amps is starting to get the spring hot. So I think three amps is probably going to be your limit on this kind of um, um, configuration with this kind of spring. Three amps is getting hot. Um, I think if we up this, we could, I think much more will burn out that spring. Um, yeah, let's take it to five amps. I bet you we'll burn out the spring. I'm not even sure that, that this thing can carry the five amps through it. Four amps. 4.3, 4.7. Okay, we have five amps running through there. There is actually smoke coming off, coming off the lead right now. This spring is uh, going to lose all of its. Um... Oh, that is literally sizzling if I lick it. Okay, so five amps. This thing is actually smoking hot right now. So let's press stop. I think your limit realistically is maybe three amps at the most. Four and five amps, this thing is gonna be smoking hot and we'll just start to melt your plastic. So do not push more than about three amps through this spring design. Now I have a new spring design that we can test. This is the new spring. And um, I still have to configure it in a battery box and do some more testing with it, but we can start with figuring out if this can take the current. Um, let us make sure that we get a good connection on this. Um, let us reverse these leads here. Okay, there we go. Um, I think that'll be a good, let's uh, drop our amps. Let's start with two amps, same as before. Okay, let's go. Amps are coming up. We're at two amps. And yep, it's still at room temperature. So um, no problems, two amps. Wouldn't expect any problems at two amps. Let's go to three amps. Three amps is where the other spring started to get warm. All right, amperage is coming up. Three amps. No, room temperature, no, no um, heat increase at three amps. Okay, so that's good. 
Uh, let's up the amps. Four amps. All right, four amps are up. We'll see if we even start to get any warmth in the spring at three amps. No, for now we're at four amps, sorry. No, spring is still still room temperature. No increase in temperature at four amps. I can go higher, so let's keep going. Five amps. Okay, we're pushing five amps at 4.15 volts. Just as, remember these batteries are all gonna be in parallel. So uh, 4.15 volts is the correct voltage. And now we're pushing five amps no heat, no heat whatsoever, no problems at five amps, which is great news. So this other spring, it will be better suited for some of the higher amperage applications like an e-bike um, th that you might wanna use these solderless battery boxes in. Okay, six amps. There's a little bit of warmth. We are starting to get some warmth. Okay, so six amps. Six amps with this new spring is kind of probably going to be about your limit. Um, yeah, so the, these springs here, six amps, more than twice what the old spring design is, but these springs are going to, uh, I can tell you, yeah, that's getting warm. It's not, it's not burning me yet, but it's getting warm. So six amps is going to be your limit. Um, of what you can get out of uh, these new springs.